I ran out of tears when I was 18 So nobody made me but the main streets Cause too many people think they made me Hey, what's good, Detective Coney Nation? It's your host, Metro Poirot, with my first ever Detective Coney Theory video. So if you guys like my video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. But before I get started with the video, I want y'all to tell me who you think Rumi Waska is. Is she in the FBI, or is she a part of the black organization, or is she even Asuka himself or herself? Hit me up and I'll reply. But for the main part of the video, which is a theory on who exactly Rumi Wasaka is, I believe that she is Koji Haneda's lover, not a part of the black organization. First off, we gotta talk about the name Rumi Wasaka. This is eerily similar to Asuka Rum, whom is linked to be the second most powerful person in the BO and was suspected to be the killer of Koji Haneda and Amanda Hughes. There are already a lot of red flags here, as the author clearly wants us to be suspicious of Rumi right from the get go. There are a lot of things that don't make sense though, as the BO hacked websites of cases involving Koji Haneda and took them down because they really don't want to suspect in the case on rum or anything like that. So I don't understand why they would have a person named Rumi Waska as the second hand in the organization that walks around Japan with that name. Obviously this would raise multiple red flags to the Japanese police about the incident that took place 17 years ago. But an explanation to this is that she is a neutral and Rumi Wasaka isn't actually her name and it's just a fake name in order to confuse the BO into thinking that she is related or knows something about the Koji Hana the case from 17 years ago. Gosho, the author, has done this before with Rei Furia's character as he dresses Akai Shuichi with a burnt mark on his face to confuse the FBI. What Rumi is doing right now is kind of vice versa in order to lure members of the organization to her or wherever she works. It seems that when we start off with Rumi's saga on DC, Rumi has clearly shown interest in Conan's ability to solve cases. Throughout the old warehouse and Rumi's neighbor case, Rumi's giving hints to Conan to see if he can solve it, and obviously he solved all the cases. Here's another piece of evidence that why Rumi really isn't a part of the BO. Only one person in the BO knows about Conan's talents and him being Kuro Shinji, and that's Vermouth. But Vermouth ain't no snitch, as she kept it a secret from everyone in the black organization because Kuro saved her life in New York. And I also don't think that Vermouth would tell Rum straight up like that. It just wouldn't make sense. So it makes no sense for Rumi to straight up get hired by Conan's school to test his wits out because none of the black organization members know about him. So now you might be saying, what if she's after Hybera? I honestly don't think that's the case either, because in the manga chapter we've read so far, she only has interest in Conan and not Hybera. She also doesn't seem to care too much about Hybera, who seems to be more important to the BO than Conan because he was a traitor to the organization. Since she has a case file full of the list of ABTX4869 victims, it's evident that she isn't from the FBI either, because the FBI doesn't know much or anything about the drugs being manufactured with the exception of Akai Shuichi. But I believe that while researching about the murder of Koji Haneda, who is probably a close friend or even the wife or even the husband of Rumi Wakasa, she came to find information on Shinji Kudo because well, he's on the list of the APTX 4869 victims and made a connection to Conan in some way. This makes sense because Eisuke Hundo, who is the brother of Kier, has found Shinichi the exact same method while he researched about Shinichi Kudo, found some information on Mori Kogoro, and found that the sleeping Kogoro phenomenon is kinda bullshit. In chapter 1006, there was a panel of Rumi asking Hybera about Shinichi, so it is evident that she's looking for any clues relating to Koji and what happened to the other people that took the APTX4869. The item in Rumi's pocket was originally thought to have been evidence from the 17 year old case of the murder of Koji Haneda, and it is true, it is a piece of shogi that was taken from the scene. There, I believe there are two things that were taken and one of them was confirmed to have been a shogi piece. The problem with this is that if Rumi was really rum, she would have gotten rid of that ASAP, but it's been 17 years and she carries it around with her, kind of like a valued possession. This is quite strange to me. If I was rum, I would have gotten rid of that shit immediately because I ain't trying to get hold right there. It's pretty obvious that she wants to solve this case and that this case seems to have been very, very important to her for some reason and that's why I think she's a relative or someone, or someone close to Koji Haneda. So the final argument I have is historical context. 
This is a pretty weak argument, so I'm gonna just leave it as kind of a bonus, so you don't need to take this too seriously. But whenever Ghost Show, the author of the DC series, introduces a new character, they always make them feel suspicious. Some of the characters include Jody Starling, who many thought was Vermont when she was first introduced. Next, we got Akai Shuichi, who was presumably a potential BO member because Hyrule was shook when she first felt his appearance. But both of these characters were turned out to be allies to Conan and the gang, so I believe that Goshu was doing the same thing with this character, Rumi, as well. As I said before, this is more of a side note rather than an actual argument, so don't take this too seriously.